You know, there's a lot of people that we meet throughout the course of our lives. Some go and some come. And then there's some people that we never forget. That special someone who just always stands out. That man, John Flowers. John was honored this past June during his 22nd annual Father's Day celebration. That day and through the years, John has been honored for all that he's done, organizing year-round events in the Hudson Valley, bringing people together and making a difference. Today, John, I would like to give you a certificate from the New York State Senate as the Father of the Community Award, because you are everybody's father. An appreciation of your years of dedicated service, commitment of time and generosity, we honor you, Black Heritage Committee. And every community either has one or needs one, someone who steps up, someone who gives of himself, someone who has a very supportive family who needs to be commended for letting you do all the things you do for everybody else. Because quite frankly, if you did not do it, John, it might not get done. Father's Day 2015 is hereby dedicated to John Flowers. John Flowers Day in Dutchess County tomorrow, June 2015. And the day wouldn't have been complete without some ribbing from Dutchess County Sheriff and friend Butch Anderson. This goes back uh, a few years ago. I show up at the parade, John says, just stay right here. This little fellow and his father came over to me and said, we won the essay contest. And I said, that's wonderful. I said, you see this bike? Yes. I said, that's going to be yours. Well, the little guy was so excited, he got his father over, and they were looking at it, and I said, I'll tell you what, go ahead and take it. So they took the bike, and they were having fun. They were having a great time. They even showed me the essay. Then John came over to me, and he says, where's the bike? I said, I gave it to the winner. He goes, no, he came in second. <laughs> go get me another bike. So $250 later, I had to come back with another bike. You're my friend. I love you. And don't call me anymore for bicycles. <laughs> About a dozen officials, friends, and family honored the man who puts his community first. But after the many proclamations and certificates came the best surprise of the day. One, two, three. Aww. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the John M. Flowers Circle here on Main Street. So the City Common Council has renamed the foot of Main Street here in the circle the John M. Flower Circle. It's a big surprise to me, you know, and I, I just don't know what to say. And thanks to Mayor and, and uh, Chris and everybody else right here, you know, I really appreciate this. From the bottom of my heart, you know, that one day my kids will be doing the same thing I'm doing, you know, so thank you, everybody's involved, and plus I want to thank all my kids and all my all the volunteers here, you know, all, all my friends too, you know. Thank you so much, but this is this is un unbelievable, you know. I mean to have something like this in my name, you know. Special thanks went to the City of Poughkeepsie Council, especially Councilman Chris Petsis and Yvonne Flowers, John's daughter. But was it hard to keep all the planning a secret from John? Yes, it was tough. This is John Flowers. He wants to know everything. So trying to get this to go in and talking with everybody, and then when it passed on the council, I'm telling on Facebook, please don't say anything to John Flowers about it. They, 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 they wouldn't let me. They changed my password. Yeah. And for me, it was such a treat to talk with John and his family about the special honor and what it means to him. People are doing things for me now, and I really appreciate it. Although my kids and grandkids and great-grandkids always do things for me, but for the public to do things like this is really nice. I like to thank all my volunteers, the elves, and people donate their time and, and donations and things, you know. It's very important. It's, it's a way to keep things going all the time, you know. I couldn't do it by myself. It would be impossible. I'm very proud of my father. He's done a lot for a lot of people. I've witnessed it myself from the beginning. 
I've seen uh, how he's touched many lives, and um, I've seen him change many lives. He's uh, taught a lot of people to, to give, to share, to love, and, uh, and I appreciate him. And I don't know what I'd do without him. I learned everything I know from him, so I'm a very not, lucky not, man. Not everything. Not everything. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, only the good things. <laughs> well, I've been through a lot, and he has always been there for me. And I just love him very much. Give him a hug, everybody. He's an incredible father. He's an incredible man in his community. He does a lot for everyone. And, and this is a great way of honoring him, you know, for years to come. <laughs> That's my grandson. <laughs>